Welcome back everyone, welcome back to our everyday living. Let's dive in to part two of cleaning this up. Well, we've actually cleaned it. So um, yeah, welcome back to our everyday living. If I did already say it, or I've already said it, my memory's not the best today. So we'll get in and get this done. Let's hope I can remember how I pulled it apart. It's definitely a lot cleaner than what it was, I tell you. There was a lot of grease and grime in here. I actually got two with a scotch bright, green scotch bright. Got all the crap out of the centre in there on both sides. Um, got new bearings, got new seals over here, got all new parts. I even noticed um, that when I was actually editing the last video of part one, that we had a bastard seal on the door. So I thought, well, I better check, see if it's got a hole in it and that sort of thing and apparently yes it did so we've got it up here i did clean it it's got a little pinhole in it. i don't think i'd be able to find the bloody thing it's got a little pinhole in it somewhere along here so i thought nah i can't have that there it is i marked it you can actually see it there i'll i'll get a screwdriver that's the best way um it's actually got a great big gash in it you can see I can poke the screwdriver in there. So I thought I'd better order one of those. It wasn't very dear. And we had this piece here. So that was the main reason why I thought I'd better order a new one. And then I'm washing it away. I thought, yeah, okay, found a hole. So yeah, got to clean that. Got it all clean. So um, let's put the bearings in first. That's the first call of agenda here. Um, then we'll have to put the, we'll put the bit main bearing in here, the front one. We've got a, the seal there. Now, how do you put these in is you use the old seal. Never throw your parts away, all your old parts, because you will need them. So, we've got the bigger bearing, bigger the bearing, and there's right here. Mind the old finger. I put a screwdriver through it. Right, now, not like I'm doing though, it was on the thing over there. Right, our rubbish bin is full of parts. Sit that there. Now we're going to use the old bearing to tap that back in. We'll just sit that up there for now. So the old bearing, which is the big one, put the dirty side up of course, and that way you've got the seal, you're not going to push anything in the hole. Grab a decent size mallet. Slowly tap it in. Make sure it's even all the way around. Oh, I should have this lower. It's going in. I could use my press, but I've got no way of putting the press in. You know, taking all the pr press apart, it's not hydraulically done by a uh, shaft. So I've got no other way of doing this. I could have got them to do it, but then you wouldn't see how you put them in in the old backyard mechanic. I do like the comment of Tim's repairs. I do like that. Thank you, everyone. I forget who commented on that. So that's going in nice and tight. You just got to be careful that you don't start putting the old bearing in too. Oh, I'll step on a milk crate. Hang on. Back in a minute. Okay. I'm, I'm a bit crowed up with the arms. So I thought I'd better get a milk crate. That's better. Get a bit more downforce. Can only go so far down. Take it down as far as what the lip will take it. Yeah, we can still get the old one out. Still going in. Sounds hard. Sounds like it's there. Still feels to be going in though. Feel inside. Oh yeah, we'll have a look. Have a gander. That 
looks like it could go a little bit more. Just a midget more. It's only about a millimetre, but every millimetre counts. Like if you haven't got that completely in, um, that'll rub like your drum sits out that millimetre, it rubs against your door, door seal and oh mate, it's mayhem. I spent nearly $500 on one machine. I replaced the spider gear, which your spider gear is on the on this PC. I've got it covered over. Right, your spider gear's here. I replaced that, which is on your main shaft. Um, that was an expensive project. Done that. Replaced the bearings, seals, put a new door seal in. Yeah, I don't think I put the bearings in properly. I stuffed the door seal up. Didn't put it on video though. Um, but yeah, I wasn't going to order another door seal. I checked the bearings out. They were in, in properly. So you just got to make sure you do it right. It sounds brutal, but that's definitely in. My ears are ringing. Won't go any further. Get a bit of light down there. And that did move. That did go in that little bit extra. Yep. Good to, good to send home. Right, new seal is in this packet here. And we'll turn it over. It might be best to put a towel or a bit of, bit of something over that. Should be right. We've got a nice smooth bench to put the other bearing in. Right, this seal, it's a double lip seal. Um, couldn't just get an ordinary seal from the bearing place. I did get the bearings from the bearing place here in town, but I had to specially order the seal. So, yeah, that one was a special order. Had to wait for it, of course. Parts, you know, door seal I had to wait for, this I had to wait for. Bearings I didn't have to, I got them the same, basically the next day, same day sort of thing. So, right. You do basically the same thing with the seal, but you try not to go too far down with the seal because the seal's got to meet the flush point of the top of that plastic. So you lay it on top. Just little things I've learned from doing mechanical work like trailers, things like that. Always hang on to your old parts, clean them up the best you can so you're not getting dirt in them. And just tap them in. can go too far with the seal too so you got to watch it that you don't get it going the wrong way it's looking good doing it this way you're not buggering up that lip in the center too you're not pounding on it here we going go a little bit more over this side over there on the far side. Over there. Around here. Got to do it by feel. Over there. It's still going down. There. Yeah, they're getting there. That's just about there. A bit more there. You don't want it cockeyed either. So I will go and get a ruler and see if we're nice and flush. It's the easiest way to do it. Yeah, still a bit proud there. That side's good. So we've only got to knock it down there. That feels good. A bit more there. Now that come up over there. I don't think I'll need a ruler. That one's good there. A bit proud right there. As I say, you've got to just take your time with it. Have patience with it. Well, that's good. That's good. Go this side. Yep. A bit more there. Going by feel. Once you put it in there, you can't get it back out. A bit more there. I didn't hit it hard enough. There we go. That feels pretty close. It is lower than the plastic, which is what you want, because the lip of the seal is higher 
than the actual seal itself. So you've got to take it that little bit lower um, because it actually sits. I'll take this back off here. Sit this on our tools. Should be fine. It sits basically right in there. So you've got to have it as far in near the bearing as possible anyway so it doesn't rub on all this crap there. So yeah, I've still got a little bit of cleaning up there I just noticed, which is on down here. I did clean a little bit of it. Just got to get that. You can see where the seal's been rubbing. I don't know whether you might be able to pick it up with the uh, with on, on your screens or anything, but there's a line there, line there, and a line there. So if I can get rid of this crud right there, I went to with the Scotch Bright and got rid of all the soap powder. Because that's what all this white stuff is, soap powder. And that's what actually, your soap powder, no matter what sort of powder it is, whether it's a liquid, uh, powder, it's very corrosive and it eats into this. They're, they're cast aluminium. That side looks good, looks good. Right, well that's that done. We'll get to and do the uh, other bearing, which is on the other side. That's all good and clean. They're done. They've seen better days. I even got two with the motor. Give all the give it a little blowout and that sort of thing to get rid of all the carbon from the from the brushes and stuff. I looked at the brushes and they looked okay, so we're on a win. While you got it all apart, it's the best thing to do while you're doing it. Check everything over. You know you're gonna have a brand new machine. Like the parts that it's cost me at the moment, probably only I don't know, I'd have to do a rundown on that. Um, to look it over on the phone, I suppose. I know that seal was $40. The bearings were about $40. Um, so there's $80. Um, then you've got the front door seal. That's all it is. I think that was about oh, $90, $95 or something like that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm in for it for a fair bit. Like, you could say, oh... Nearly 200 bucks, but you know, I'm saving something going to the landfill because the motor still works, the casing's still okay, all the wiring's all right, the, the circuit board's fine. But the thing is, the good part about this, I'll probably double my money. That's what it's all about. If you can double your money by repairing something, by all means, use the other one. That's a bit heavier one. Get that heater core out from there. Don't want to bend that up and have to get one of those. Right, so you do the same thing with this bearing. But yeah, I'd probably double my money. Go in. Go in, son. Go in, son. Don't hit the fingers. That sounds to be it. These are pretty solid. They're, they're pretty hard to break. Like if you hit them with a hammer, the, the outer casing out here, I'm not going to show you. Um, I have tried it when I've um, pulled a bad one apart. I've got actually got a couple in the shed there that I've got to pull apart. I've got two over here, top loads that I've got to work on as well. They're no good. Computers are buggered. Now, just for this one on the first one over here, it cost me $100 to get that one fixed. It's not worth it. It's only a little Fisher & Pike or 5.5. Um, I wouldn't get it $200 for it. I'd be lucky to get $150, so it wouldn't make much. Got to look at your labour as well. That looks to be spot on. Sounds to be spot on. Right, we are done with bearings. Bearings are done. Get all the parts over there. Now let's start putting this together. Give that a wipe over, grab a rag. Got me rag. Give that a wipe over from the old bearing. Get rid of the crud. Right, time to lay that back on its back. Put its feet back on it because it'll be a lot easier to put this in first before I start putting that into that because it's gonna get heavy, gonna get real heavy. So we we'll lay this up here, milk crate, back the way it was, round this way, 
come back further. Come back to there, son. Right, so now we've flopped this this way. Get the cord out the back. Don't want none of that. I didn't clean none of this because of the electrics or anything like that. It's still got a little bit of grease, as you can see. It's a bit crud, cruddy in there and whatnot. So we're going to put this on the, the struts on the bottom and the springs first. Make sure you get it up the right way. Heat a core down the bottom. Slot it in. Right, strutterists first. This is what makes it so much easier doing putting this, doing it this way. Right. That onto there. We had the motor on there too, didn't we, everyone? Maybe we should put motor on first. Hmm. Think, think, think. I don't remember how I pulled the bloody thing apart. I think I pulled the motor out with it. <laughs> So we best to put the motor on first. That'll be the go. I'll do it while it's still in there. Do it like this. Then I'll lay it flat. Sit there, son. Sit there. You want it wants to tip over on me. Right, motor. Keep the motor running. Ah, that one there. That goes that away. Yeah, we're better off doing that first. Because I would not be able to do this bolts up. Put that onto there, like so. We better get the bolts for that, which should be should be a couple of these, I think they are. A couple of those. How many do we need of that? I'll count the other one. Better still, I can count this one here. Do some counting. 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. So we've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. Two for the motor. These are put in with a 10 mil socket, which I think I've got over there. I think, not sure, I think I got the 10 mil, no I didn't, I'll have to go searching for my, through my tools, through the tools, put it back up there, get it back in the road, where's the old tenner, there it is there, tenner is it, yeah tenner, grab our tool here, get it going the right way, Give it a light torque, not too tight, you can strip it, that'll be enough, good go, good go, good go, alright put that back onto that, so now we can put it back, we just got to remember to feed our wires around here and all that sort of jaga, uh, I'll say it's jaga, get that strut up that way, Right, put this one in now. Now we're on track. Or oh, should I put the springs in? I don't know. Put that part way. Grab the other one. through and we'll do the springs if we don't do the springs now we'll be in trouble because we've got to put it down through here pull it up hook it in let it sit this one's got to hook the other way Do 
down in here. Is it from that side? Yes, it's from that side. Pull that up. Make sure you don't lose your plastic clips because, like I said, it stops the vibration and stops wear and tear. That's in there. Now we can put them completely right in. As far as I'll push. That's right in. That's right in. And now we can put the drum in. And then we can whack this on and do the door seal and goes together pretty quick they do. I don't need to lubricate it. It's already got lube on the seal. This is the enjoyment part. Putting it back together. Knowing you've done something. Come on, go in. That popped in. She's all good. This goes in next. And goes on one way. That goes down the bottom. Sit that onto that. We'll worry about pumps and everything like that, hoses and all that sort of thing after. Because that hose has got to go onto that. Yep, get the screws in, which are over here. Now, I did go and purchase, this is a funny thing, because I was on a long arm, did go and purchase a different one. I'm hoping I've got the adapter for that for a 10 mil, because they are a 10 mil, and I don't know whether I've got one, a little one. So just be with me. I went and bought this adapter thinking I had one. Do a bit of scratching around here. 716 da 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 10 mil hello where are you there you are that looks like the 10 yes 10 mil right pop a screw in other way around no I'm not supposed to use my hands it's not magnetic that's the only thing so I've got to watch where I'm going here. I can't see myself. Don't know whether you guys can see in that hole. I'll get a light on very shortly and we'll be able to work it out. Right, light coming on. That's better. I can see. I'm sure you all can see now. Right, push that over the other side. That's like when you're putting an engine together. A washing machine is a bit like an engine. You've got to treat it with care. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Thank you. That's down. That's them. That's all on. Now we'll do the door seal. We should be able to actually stand this up, but I'll leave it like that for now so I can do this door seal because it's easier when it's like that. I can actually get it to. Can I get it that? Might not be able to. We'll have a look at that. Um, yeah, I was saying, where's that adapter? It might be easier to. No, I just took it off. Um, might be easier to leave it like it is or something like that. What's that one? No, it's the next one down. You never know which one it is. That onto that, that onto that. We've got to undo that door seal. Put it in reverse. I should have done that before I took it, put it in there. Not to worry. 
We'll make it. Right, get that one off there. Flat screwdriver, get underneath it. Pull it out, make it expand, because it's only a bit of wire, that's all it is. Take it off. You've got to make sure you try to put it back pretty close where it you know where it come from so i'm going to try and put it so it's back around where this is over here on the opposite side so i can actually get at it or i could put it back here and just turn the thing over that might be the go do it like that it's got to go right it's got an arrow here on the plastic when you're changing your door seal there's always an arrow this one's a bit out of line anyway so when you go to put these put your new one on make sure you line that up just take note of everything when you're doing that. That's all you have to do. Take that dirty, gruddy thing off. It's going to look a lot nicer than what's inside there anyway. You can see how I'm scratching that. I couldn't quite get all that out. So, best just to change the seal anyway. If I can get it off. Here we go, here we go. Give me it. Give me the seal. That must have been a stone or something. Yeah, a couple of stones or pearls. Because we got a pearl out last time. So, yeah, just as well. Oh, yeah. That can go over there. Bit of rubber rubber. This here. Grab the new one. Over there. Now, has this one got the same thing? Yes, it has. See, it's got the got your pointer up the top. Take your ring off. You know where that's going to go. All right, so your pointer's got to go right at the top, right up here. Line it up. Put all the rest in. I could have done this before I put it on, but... Might have been easier, but I'm not taking it apart now. Hell no. All right, make sure that's lined up. Get it in there. It's got a push in. Some of them are not easy. Some of them are easy. And this one's not easy. Easy to pull out, but not easy to put back in. That's part of that. Get that over that. Come on. Get over there. I'll get back to you when I've got it on. We're just about there. It's taken me a good long time to get around here. Rubber takes a lot to stretch. And you've got to get it in right too. you got to make sure you've got every little section of this in on the inside before you put the outside on. I think we're there. I think we're Mickey Mouse. I'm a little bit out. I think we're Mickey Mouse. We can't twist it. We may be able to manoeuvre it like a snail. Don't think it's going to matter much. It's only what the other one was off anyway, so... Yeah, we should be able to manoeuvre that around. There we go. Just keep rubbing it. It's like when you're walking on rubber. It moves it around, so you just squeeze the rubber together, make it work around. 
so you have to take the whole thing out. There we go, we're lined up perfect. Look at that. Spot on. Right, get our clamp back on. Just be careful when you're putting your clamp on, you get it on right. Get it into the groove. No, get into the groove. <laughs> right, that's fully stretched out to the max. Got to get that in there. Pull that up like so. It was roughly around that vicinity. Grab this. And we should be able to put our balanced concrete bricks back on. I'll rephrase it. Concrete bricks. Who says there's no concrete in washing machines? <laughs> oh, that just got me laughing, that did. No concrete in dishwashers. No concrete in bloody washing machines. There is. There always has been. All right, no squeakies. No squeakies. Oh, mate, I'm loving that. Right, now that we're that far, we'll put our balance brick, concrete. Ha! <laughs> I love that. Just love that. When I seen that comment, I thought, no, I've got to laugh at that one. So now we'll put this back into here. <sighs> this is where it's going to make it a little bit heavier. Socket is up here, we left it all there. And make sure you line it up right. Oop, that's the wrong one. What's that one for? That one. Okay, so it must be the tenner. Or the thirteen. Which one? The thirteener. Don't run away down there, you mongrel. <laughs> I'll be chasing that. Better not throw me tools. It's starting to look like a nice clean wash machine. Put a uh, comment down below what you think this would be worth once we Like it's all clean inside. You wouldn't expect this if someone repaired it. I don't think they'd clean much of it. Um, that's that one on there. That don't go on yet. We can put this on here. A pair of longies, not longies, flat nose pliers. Get all this done. Put our what run our wire across, plug all that in, then we'll get to the back of that. <laughs> That's pretty straight. It's a bit stretched. It's only because it's down that way. And this is why you don't lay washing machines on their backs. Because stretches pipes, hoses, all that sort of thing, you can break things. So when you've got a front loader washing machine, always have it standing up. So we'll get this standing up, push this down, get this other hose on, down through here. We've got another sensor here somewhere, haven't we? No. That goes on to that. Goes to there. Pliers. Put that clamp on. Sometimes things don't go to plan when you're trying to do a video. As we all know. Looks to be too small for the hose. Oh, we'll just push it on with the clamp already on there. Don't have to squeeze the clamp then. She's on. That's the quick and simple way. She's backyard mechanics here. <laughs> right here, we'll stand her up. Plug that in. Put that into there. Get that all lined up so it doesn't hit me in the face like last time. Pliers again. Come here. Geez, I need a bigger pair of pliers, I reckon. She's very chilly at the moment, so mind me sniffling, everyone. Still getting over the goddamn flu. 
That's the ones we need. Poke that into that. It goes to there. They've got locators on your rubber, so make sure when you put it back together that you put your locators in. Because if you don't get it high enough, it's going to leak. I put a wash machine together, like I replaced the bearings and stuff. I put it together and I forgot to put this hose on. I'm thinking, where's all that water come from? He's just gushing down the side and out. Oh, no, I didn't forget to do that, did I? Yeah, I forgot to do it. Right, we'll give that a wipe over with the screwdriver. What I mean by wipe over the screwdriver is get rid of all this powder here. I haven't got around to doing that yet. Get rid of all that crud. And that's what I'm saying about your powder. It gets everywhere. So you've got to be careful how much you use. When you buy an actual brand new wash machine, they don't tell you how much you can use and what it does to your machines and things like that. It's very corrosive. No matter whether it's a powder or a liquid. Very corrosive. That's why it's a throwaway world, I suppose. But anyway, uh, what's the next on the agenda? I think we could stand that up. Hang on to it so it doesn't run away. Toing, toing, toing. Oh, I think we could put the top brick on. Haven't got nothing else to put up the top, have we? Oh, I don't think so. That goes to the main board. That goes down to the door. I think, yeah, that's how that goes. Door cut, no, the, the roof on it. I call it the roof, the top, whichever. Ah, uh, what have we got left? We better put the flywheel on, move the barrel out of the road. Do these wires at the back before we go any further, eh? Oh, damn it. Grab that, flywheel is over here. That to there, that onto that, for a second, so we can get these wires in. Let's see if I can struggle this side. That's better, it's going in. I can actually see what I'm doing. I think I can see what I'm doing. Hang on, I've got to lie down, everyone. I've got to lie down my job. Oh, I can't see. Come on with me. You're all coming with me. That and that. That's two and two. One, one, one. It goes in that way. Could have put the motor in last. Oh, bugger this, I'm gonna take that motor out. Take it back out. Pun the butter, can't get it connected. Only slides out. I just hope I can put it back in there with the wires connected that's all okay we don't do everything the same way we pull them apart I tell you there we go now we're going in that's clipped in put the earth on that one that earth there the end of the bottom Come off there, you're going back on there. Thank you. All right, now we'll put the motor back. That was easier. I hope. <laughs> I hope. The heavy part. Oh dear. Oh, stress. Sitting down on the job, not good. There we go. 
They're up into there. That right into there. Oh, I didn't get the back ones on. At least it's going to work. I've had some catastrophes. Right, we better go and get the phone so we can follow our colour code for all of our wires. So we know what one went where. I reckon that's the best thing because we've got a blue wire and a brown wire which is your active and neutral and your earth. Okay. Brown goes, brown goes, brown goes on the left, blue goes on the right, earth in the middle, plug in the middle. Right, we should be good to go there. We are chuck that gonna chuck that out of the road. Right, yeah, so we go. That onto that. Put that one up to that. Put that one up to that. I hope you just can all see. <sighs> Probably have it all connected before you just worry about it. Oh, we've got two earths, so we'll plug the two earths on. Feed them in so they don't not twist it around the rest. Put that one on the top. Don't know why there's two earths, but we'll put them on anyway. Pluggy, pluggy. This one, pluggy, pluggy, is into that, pluggy. And we should be plugged all right. That up that way. Or is it the other way round? That way round. Yeah, single one down. Okay, dokie. That's plugged into that. That's all done. Now we can do th this part. Right, put this on. Give it a slight tap. Just a slight tap. To start it, your drum will go further in. Put your nut, your bolt in, and it should pull it up to place. Make sure she's pretty tight, you don't want that coming undone. Right, put the hammer away. <coughs> put your belt on the bottom pulley first. Make sure you're in the centre. Well, there's only one way you can put them on, but centre me the furthest one out and just slide the belt on. It's the only way you'll get it on, it won't hurt the belt. It's going to be pretty tight anyway. And then just keep turning it. And you think if you think it's too far, have a feel. All you gotta do is wind it back one. And then just do that. Yeah, that feels better. It feels more even on there than what it you know. You gotta make sure it's even on this aluminium pulley here. Now we can put the back back onto this. We've got the screws already there, we can put that back on, then we can put the front on. We can get the ball rolling, can't we? I didn't grab that. Didn't grab this. To put the screws in. Take that out. Put that in. Grab our plate, which should be in here somewhere. There it is. We're finished with the back piece. that one that's that that's that that's that that's that that's done that is done balance brick our concrete brick then we can lay it back on its back oh dear put them into place first 
so they slide in like so it only goes on one way this way round I had to think there for a second oh, I can't even see the holes there they are This is why your washing machines are so heavy. Because of these. That'll hold it. That will do, that'll do. So that's got to go in that slot, like so. Now we get the trolley. Get that up to there. You put the face on front door I'll put that down there that'll do still got this to go on this goes across here That's so that the front piece can be clipped on we're just about done just about done have any screws to come out of here yes there's a couple there another one up there another one there so we better take them out first before we go too far and then we've got to put the door in and the two screws for the door are there change our tool over that put that over to there get our door lock in right here here's the screws for that well, what are those two screws for oh they're for that yes yeah for the front there because i couldn't put them in see you always got to think this goes down into this Plug the wire in first. Where's the wire? Up here. Plug that in. The right way around, of course. That way around. I think the wire goes underneath. Underneath and back through there and up the door. I should have done that the first way. That way. Like so. Yes, no? No. That goes that way. So no, it doesn't. Oh, it's all good. Uh, see, you just never know sometimes what, which, which, which way things go. Drill that up, or drill it up, do it up, whichever. That right into there. That's tight enough. Right, wires should be fine. I think they had a clippy clip. Can't find it. No, there's no clippy clip in there. We'll have a look. Have a gander in here. No, no clips or nothing. Oh, yes, there is. There's one right there in the door. Up into there. We can't put the door seal in yet until we stand it up. Got to find that piece. 
I'll go and have a look for it. Oh, I found it. Wasn't lost to be found. Down in the goddamn bloody washing machine itself. <laughs> right, open this up. While we've got it facing this way, that goes that way. I've got to take that hose off there, or that point off there, of course. Um, we've got to feed that duvalacky other thing out down inside. Push that back into there. Our emergency release. I'm going to put that down inside it. Should be able to clip this in. That go down into there. Like that. That into there like that. Where's that screwdriver now? This is why you don't do your door seal straight away. You always got things to do later on. Yep, that's right there. Right, grab our emergency door release. Poke it in that hole. Come on, you're going to go in that hole. There we go. Through and through. Right, put the two screws back where they belong. What to do with our tools. That into there. Pop that into that. Like so. Make a look factory. That into there. Close that up. We're done there. Now we should be able to stand it up. Before we stand it up, we better see if the door's going to lock itself and unlock. Yes, that's good. That's bonus. That's locked. It's not going to come undone. This goes across the front. Then we've got that piece that goes across here. Well, actually, that goes across the top here, actually. By memory. Right, we can stand it all up. We're done down the front. Except for the door seal. Which once we've got it up like this, we'll do that next. We'll put it on. We've got our spring here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Cold air's getting to me. Anyway, we'll put this on first. It's looking nice and fresh in here. Look at that. Sounds good. Wait until I plug it in, turn it on. Get the screwdriver out of the hand. We only need that to put that on. Right, now the best thing to do with these, start at your door. Pull on the seal. And work your way around to the door lock, both sides, if you can. That's the easy part, putting that on. That's on. Right, you could leave it, but no. You're best not to. Right, now this spring is best to be on the bottom. I've always noticed that when I'm taking machines apart, that spring is always down the bottom. So, put your knee against it. Right. Rotate this right around. It's where you almost need three hands. Almost need three hands. Bring that further around. Around to there. That's it. Put the spring in. Put your knee against it. Feed it in. It's like putting on a tyre. Come on, go in. Flop in. There you go. Don't do that. Do that. <clears throat> She's got a tight squeeze on this one. They need to be fairly tight. 
because if they're not tight, they'll leak. <sighs> right, we're up underneath there. I think we got it. I've got to get that out from underneath that there. No, we're not taking you off. That's it. Sweet. Done. That's the door seal on. I'll go to and give that a roughen up and a bit of scotch bright and get all the crap off the door. That's a nice hard seal, that. Perfect seal. Sweet. Right, now we've got to do this piece here. This goes across the top. Got to remember which way this goes. Damn. Oh, I reckon it goes that way up. Probably that way round too. More likely that way round. And this confirms this with this. I gather. Do 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 do. Gotta take those two screws out there. <coughs> we should be able to put that in last. That screw there. That screw there. So we'll just move that out of the road. We're just about there. Just about. No, don't lose the screws, son. Good o. Tell you what, I've had some mishaps on this one. That into there, that into there, that down to there. Oh, we've got a screw there and a screw there to take out. I can go back in straight away. This is why I like putting the screws in where they belong. I wouldn't know what screw went where. No, it's taken what nearly a week for me to um, have get the parts all here and so I can do this one for you all and it takes time that into that it's looking like a brand new machine just about grab these two put them in That into there. Could say it's refurbished. <sighs> That's there. We're on a winner. We are certainly on a winner. Now I've just got to look on how this goes in. That probably goes underneath that. So, take those four screws out. Because I don't actually remember. Looks like, because it's got a bit of tape, bit of tape. Yep, that's the way it goes. Went wrong way. Not doing it up. Undo, mate. that into there that is definitely how it goes because of that little bit of tape hasn't got done down there goes underneath why are you doing that oh you're climbing up on that are you okay you climb up on that and you climb up on that why are you not climbing up on that <laughs> there we go oh, I could undo that loosen these ones off Loosen them off. They're a bit tight. There we go. Get that into there. That worked. So we've got to get that to there. That to there. That looks good across there. That's where it was. Get these whizzed back in there. That one into there. We must be a bit out of line. We are. There we are. Just that smidget. 
Midget, midget. Add to there. That's to there. Put these back in. And I think we could put the top back on. After we plug our wires in. Which I forgot to do. Should have done that before I put that on. Never mind. There's only two. So we'll get behind here. We'll find them. Wherever they go. Wherever they go. Where do they go? <laughs> Bogger. <laughs> Bogger. Oh, there's one there. I think. We might be best just to take that front off. That'll be easier. Just take the front off. Do it in reverse. A lot easier. We're not second guessing. We don't want to be second guessing. Sometimes you've got to go forward before you can go backwards. We'll go backwards before you go forwards, I should say. Oh, we've done those two screws up too. See, we've got to go backwards before we can go forward. Right. Now, where did it connect? I'll investigate, everyone. I've got to go back and watch some footage. Yeah, we worked it out. We certainly worked it out. It's over here. That's what happens when you're going to go back and watch some footage. This one goes in there. The big one goes in there because it's only got two pro got two wires. It's the bigger pin. If I can get it in there. Just as well I took it back out. Oh, come on. Come off the grass. Stop smoking that funny weed. Get in there. You're going back together whether you want to or not. Come on, get in there. Get in there. You mully grub. Mully grub me, mully grub you. Come on, it's the truth of light. There we go. There we go. Bit of brute force. Give it a bit more wire. It's not good having a bunged up finger. We all know what that's like, eh? It's still doing all right. I can still see where the stitches were. <laughs> Hurts now and then. Come on. You're holding the internet up here, son. There we go. Yeah, give it a liven up, didn't I? Right, now that clips up into that. <coughs> or does it? There's a little clippy thing there, so it must do. It must do somehow. Anyway, we'll get it back in there first. And we'll find that out. <laughs> go down. Come on. Now you're going to play havoc on me, aren't you? Yep. It's going to play havoc. There we go. Right, now that clippy clip won't reach there. It must go nowhere. Oh, well. It's not necessary. Well, I don't think it's necessary. So we'll just mosey on, continue on, you know. Keep poking. Get it finished into there these two back <laughs> i've only got the top to put on here you know and then we can plug it in i'm not gonna plug it in when the top's off too much electricity going around there oh go on go in there go, go in there get in the hole thank you Now we are on track. That's 
that. Put this in there, it's nice and clean. She's starting to look like something now. Looking pretty, pretty, pretty. Put the top on. We're in. Let's plug it in. Put it on a spin cycle. <sighs> See if I've done everything right. Well, she's on seven. It's on spin. It's on pause. She's free as a bird. Oh, we got the pump working. <laughs> Come on, do you do, 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 do with your motor? Come on, I plugged it in. I'm waiting. <laughs> Suspense. Come on. Pump stopped. Pump's coming again. I didn't disconnect the pump. I know I've got all the hoses right. Suspense. Suspense. Come on. Look at that. Oh, it stopped. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Sounds good. Can't complain about that, I'm telling you. I've just doubled my money. <laughs> anyway, that's a good one for this one, everyone. I'll put it through the paces over here on the test station, like this one here. I, I had to bring this one back. I actually, yeah, they um, burnt the circuit board out on that one. That just that circuit board with all this plastic stuff, hundred bucks. It's not worth it for a five point five. Ah, uh, this one over here, she's doing a funny hickly pickly sort of thing and it's all to do with the circuit boards and that sort of thing i picked this one up today on the curbside uh didn't get it on camera of course i was in a hurry um plugged it in she goes i put it on a spin cycle starts at 18 goes down to i think it's 13 then goes back to 18 no nah, pulled apart <laughs> too much problems um so yeah this was a good one i've got another one like this that i will be doing in the future um it's stuck away in the shed so this works, Bonza. Sounds pretty good to me so far. So if you've enjoyed tagging along with me, show us some love everyone. Smash that like button. Um, as you can see, we are fixing. We're not throwing it back into the you know, into landfill or not pulling them apart, making more money doing it this way than actually putting it into scrap metal. Um, yeah. And if also while you're giving us some love there, uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you're not going to know when we put out a new video, especially if you don't hit the notification bell, you know. So don't forget to hit the notification bell when you do subscribe. So till next time, everyone. Happy dumpster diving. Happy repairing Tim's Repair Shop. Whoever com commented about that, I'm liking that. Thank you very much. So um, I reckon I've done a good job. Tell me in the comments below. No, no fault shit. So anyway, I'm going to end it here, everyone. So till next time, cheerio.